A stationary tank of mass one ton rests on a horizontal rough surface with a coefficient of friction 0.4. The tank's gun is tested and fires a blank shell with mass of 20 kilograms at a speed of 360 meters per second. Find the velocity of the recoil of the tank and how far it will move as a result of firing the shell. So, if we draw a force diagram of the situation, so here's my tank, 1,000 kilograms, one ton is 1,000 kilograms, so it's a very light tank. Its weight will be 1,000 G newtons, so there'll be a force acting down 1,000 G newtons, there'll be a reactional force upwards. And when you fire the, the bullet, the shell, the tank will try to move backwards, so friction will act in that way against the tank. The bullet is fired with a velocity of 360 meters per second. And first, we have to find the velocity that the tank actually moves back due to the recoil. So we'll put on an IJ axis. The total momentum of the tank and the shell before the shell is fired will be equal to the total momentum of the tank and the shell after the shell is fired. The thing here, before the shell is fired, the tank is, uh, has a velocity of zero and because it's stationary and the bullet ha will be have a station, um, velocity of uh, zero as well, initial velocity of zero. So MTUT plus MSUS is equal to MTVT plus MSVS with MT being the, the mass of the tank, VT being the velocity of the tank, MS being the velocity of uh, the mass of the shell, sorry, and velocity of the shell being VS. Putting the numbers in, we got a thousand times zero because it's stationary, plus a twenty times zero because the, the shell will be stationary, is equal to a thousand V plus twenty times three hundred and sixty because the speed of the shell when it's fired is three hundred and sixty. So on this side we're going to get zero. So we've got zero is equal to a thousand v plus seven thousand two hundred. A so thousand v will be equal to minus seven thousand two hundred. So v will be equal to minus seven point two meters per second. So the tank will move backwards at a velocity of minus backwards this way at a velocity of minus seven point two meters per second. So now resolving the forces vertically, so R in this direction minus 1000 G will be equal to zero because there's no movement in this direction. The only, so that will give R is 1000 G. The only force acting horizontally will be the frictional force as the tank moves backwards once the shell has been fired. So resolving forces horizontally and using Newton's second law, F will be equal to MA where this is the friction and F is also equal to mu R so we're going to have mu R is equal to MA mu is 0 0.4 R is a thousand grams from here is equal to a thousand times the acceleration therefore 400 G will be equal to a thousand A therefore A will be equal to 0 0.4 G meters per second squared, the acceleration of the tank. So, after the shell is fired, the tank will have an initial velocity of minus 7.2, so it's moving in that direction, but the acceleration will slow it down and eventually it will stop, so it does some sort of recoil and stop. So the acceleration will be 0 0.4 g meters per second. It's acting in the, acceleration is acting in the opposite direction to the velocity. So, to find the distance, v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. Eventually, once the tank uh, has fired the shell and moves backwards, it will stop. So, therefore, zero it will be the final velocity and is equal to minus 7.2 squared, the initial velocity once the shell has been fired, plus 2 times the acceleration. So, it's 2 times 0.4g times the distance which we asked to find. So S will be equal to minus minus 7.2 squared divided by 0 0.8 G. 2 times 0 0.4 is 0 0.8, which gives me G is 9.8 meters per second squared. That gives me minus 6.35714 meters. The tank will move this way, minus left against the I, 
we'll move 6.36 rounded off three significant figures to the left so we'll move that far 6 meters and 36 6.36 meters